by next fall, United States Congressman. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, are all of our senators, we've got all of them out of the way. Okay, good. I'm not trying to get them out of the way, but I need them and they're fighting for us, so we don't want to do that. Okay, we've got some great speakers. I want to hear from, we've got some people that have lost their jobs. And I want to introduce you to a guy who said, not in my county. Not in my county. I want you to meet the man who's running for Lieutenant Governor of Arkansas. and nothing's changed. I'm trying to change that. In fact, I was doing that work in Chicago and there was a Democrat doing it in Chicago. That guy went on to become president, but this broke Chicago is still broken. 
That was President Obama. But I was doing that as a Republican. So there's, but here's the word. President Reagan said, there's nine words that should terrify anyone. You guys know what those nine words are? I'm the government, and I'm here to help. Well, sure enough, about two weeks ago, I was in Clark County with a number of you guys and having a dinner, and I'm getting messages about the president's speech. I'm like, man, what is he saying? I couldn't wait to finish the dinner, so I go and listen to everything he was saying. And I'm telling you, I was incensed that he would... Hang on, that, I'm growing impatient with you 80 million people. Oh, well, you sound like somebody's daddy, wouldn't you? I mean, growing impatient, and I'm going to put a mandate? No, no, no. At 10.46 that, that evening, after I listened to it, I mean, I was pretty furious, but I'm also thinking, dang, if I feel this way watching this, I got 600 employees in Washington County. I got 250,000 people in my county. What are they thinking? Are they now thinking that their job is about to be jeopardized if they don't get a jab? Are they going to be mandated to take a test every week? I said, I called my county attorney, I sent him a note, 1046. Here's what I want to release the next morning. Next morning, we released a press statement saying that we will not have mandates in Washington County. We will not have testing in Washington County. We were the very first to do that in the state. Now, I'm not doing it to, to make a statement. I'm doing it because I care about the people who put me in office. You know, those legislators who are just here, they write laws, but I got to execute them. I got to oversee and manage all of that. And I got 600 employees. I got 250,000 people who elected me to make sure that I uphold the Constitution. I took an oath of office, just like all those guys in there. I, Joseph Wood, do solemnly swear to uphold the United States Constitution, to uphold the Arkansas State Constitution, to faithfully serve and discharge the duties of the county judge or lieutenant governor. I take that seriously. Are they taking it seriously? And if they're not, guess what? You get to decide every election. You vote them out if they're not upholding this Constitution. And I'll end with this. Around the world, people still see this place called America as a bastion of hope. They believe they can come to this country to be, do, and have what they can't be, do, and have there. See, we are gathered here today about medical freedom, but the world says, no, it's more than medical freedom, because it is. It's not us fighting to get choices in our schools. It's about education freedom. It's not about fighting the socialism. Which it's not socialism and communism. It's about capitalism, free enterprise. And we got to make sure we're standing strong because guess what? The rest of the world stops coming here. We start looking like them. And they'll stop. They don't want to come here if we're going to look like them. Why are they coming over the borders and what's going on in Cuba? We take that for granted. We can no longer take that for granted. That's why it's so important that you're here. Thank you, guys. God bless you, guys. May God bless you and keep you. May His face continue to shine upon you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. This next guy is practically a legend in his own time.